Originally named Mission San Antonio de Valeria, the officer as home to missionaries and their Indian converts for nearly 70 years. San Antonio and the Alma played a critical role in text service in December 1835. Ben Mom led Texian and Chinjano volunteers against Mexican troops quartered in the city after five days of horse house to house fighting. They forced General Marin Perfecto Picos and his soldiers to surrender. His victorious volunteers then occupied the Alma, already for fortified prior to the Battle of Cozman and strengthened its defense. From October 1835, Texans in the field had succeeded in most of their military campaigns. When Martin Perfecto de Cruz and his men retreated from Baxter in December 1835, Texas had eliminated the last of the Mexican garrisons. On February 23, 1836, the arrival of General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana's army outside San Antonio nearly caught them by surprise and dotted the Texans and Tenjonos prepared to defend the Alma together. The defenders held out for 13 days against Santa Ana's army. William B. Travis, the commander of the Alma, sent forth car couriers carrying pleas for help to communities in Texas. On the eighth day of the siege, a band of 32 volunteers from Granada's uh, arrived bringing the number of defenders to nearly 200. Legend told that with the possibility of additional help fading, Colonial Travis drew line on the ground and asked uh, any man wanting to stay and fight to step over. All except one did. As the defenders saw it, the To give their lives uh, rather and surrender their position to General Santa. Among the Alma's garrison were Jim Boyer, now a knife fighter, and David Coggett, famed punishment and former congressman from Tennessee. Following his defeat, David Cocker wrote, I would rather be beaten and be a man than to be elected and be a little puppy dog. I have always supported measures and principles and not men. I have acted fearlessly and independent, and I never will regret my course. I would rather be politically buried than to be hypocritically immoralized. Reinforcements under Captain Albert Martin arrived from Gonzales on March 1st. With the arrival of the last of Santa Ana's forces, Travis was able to send out only one last appeal on March 3rd. Again, he echoed the determination of the fortress to withstand surrender. A blood red banner waves from the church of Benjar. And in the camp above us, I am I'm token that the war is one of vegans against rebels. They have declared us as such and demanded that we should surrender at deception or that this garrison should be put to the sword. Their threats have had no influence on me or my men, but to make all fight with discretion and 
the high souled courage which characterizes the patriot who is willing to die in defense of his country's liberty and his own honor. Remember the Alamo became a barricade. The determined defense of the Alamo gave General Sam Houston time to gather the forces he needed to save the independence movement of Texas. He retreated eastward, pursued by Santa Ana at San Jacinto, Texas. He turned on the Mexicans, surprised them during the afternoon siesta, and on April 21st, in just 18 minutes, captured or killed. Most of the Mexican army was over 1,200 men. Houston's army captured Santa Ana the following day and forced him to sign a treaty granting Texas its independence.